again. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel and supporting my channel. Now I'm on a mission to rejig my cabinet hair and I just thought I'd take you on the mission with me. Now I'm still renovating my home and I am looking at this cabinet and the high gloss finish is just too much for my farmhouse sheet that I'm going for. So I will be changing the high gloss on the cabinet. And for the second thing, when they made the cabinets, they basically gave me one door here. And these two panels were basically just screwed to the side. Now for me, it's not functional because I don't wanna have to, with breakables in my cabinet, reach in and behind. So. The next thing I'll be doing is to hinge these so that they'll be able to open and that will make it more functional for me. So the first thing I did was to remove the door and the fixed side panels that I mentioned about. And then I actually gave the cabinet a complete prime prime inside and out and I also primed the door separately. I used a primer that would enable me to paint it without the paint stripping so that the paint would adhere to the cabinet. Then I left the cabinet to dry for a day or so. Now I was ready to paint. I actually used the same paint that I used for my trims which is actually a satin finish. I used it to paint the cabinet inside and out and also to paint the doors of the cabinet. Then I let the cabinet sit and dry it completely for another day. So after both the cabinet and the doors were completely dry, the next day what I did was to get some hinges that I had taken from other old cabinets and I hinged the panels on both sides of the cabinet and the middle door of the cabinet because as I said before those two fixed panels on the sides were not cutting it for me so I wanted to make them fun functional and I did then it was time to get my desired finish now my desired finish is sort of kind of a, what i call a valor chic so or aka shabby chic so what i did was to get a medium grit sand paper and i went along all the rigid lines like along the molding detail at the top along the doors and i basically just remove as much paint as i wanted to remove in order to get the look that i wanted to get it's fairly easy and it's fairly personal so you could actually remove more if you wanted to or remove less depending on the look or the desired look that you want to get and there you have it i got just the look i wanted to get from that glossy brown cabinet to a fairly relaxed chic cabinet that I wanted for my farmhouse dining room. So here it is, my made over cabinet sitting pretty mounted on the wall in my dining room. Now I should mention actually that because the cabinet was a two-piece cabinet, the bottom shelf of the upper portion was actually just the top of the bottom half of the cabinet. So I had to compensate for that. And in order to compensate for that, I basically just got myself some pieces of reclaimed lumber and just glued and screwed them to the bottom of the cabinet and there you have it a unique cabinet for my dining room instead